Uh, we'll move into the agenda. The first item on the agenda is a request for and discussion of non-agenda items pursuant to the codified ordinances of Jackson County, section 213.06. Members of the public may address any item that is not on the agenda. Is there anyone wishing to address your Board of Commissioners this morning? Please come forward, ma'am. Uh, state your name and address for the record, and welcome and good morning. My name is Linda Costa Ogden, and I'm here. The address is 2055 Rogue River Highway, Gold Hill. And I'm here about the Gold Hill Irrigation Ditch issue. Um, mostly just to fill in the discrepancies of understanding that no one's seen. We had a meeting last Wednesday, just after I was here, and uh, we have been made aware of so many things that we were not made aware of or no notification was ever given about the turnoff of our ditch. And I don't know what we need. We need an opportunity to get some kind of an injunction not to turn off the ditch this coming Monday, the 18th. Not, not this coming, but the 18th. And uh, so we can get a hold of some of these people like uh, Bill Mansfield, who is supposed to be our representative. And these things were only made aware to us. We had over 100 people at that meeting. And we did this within like five days of getting a hold of all the people. And there's 300 properties involved. Um, I think it deserves you guys to take a look and understand what they have done and haven't done, <coughs> excuse me, in, uh, on our behalf and see if we, there's something we can do to give us the opportunity to get this righted. Well, ma'am, you do understand as, and I think Commissioner Rasher spoke to this a little bit to you last week, uh, and you do understand as an irrigation district, they are their own district with their own governing body, which is outside the county purview. Uh, so realistically, and I'll look over to council here and to our administrator to uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I don't believe we can do anything. Now, you said that Bill Mansfield, is he your attorney? Uh, he was, uh, Scott Pedersen is the director of the uh, ditch, and uh, that's what I call it, to shorten it up. But um, he's mentioned and someone overheard the name Bill Mansfield and they asked if he was our representative, not an attorney. But um, I'm on my way to the county clerk because I had been told that in the very beginning in 1916 they had to come before you, the irrigation ditch had to come before the commissioners to get this um, board or whatever, this entity um, become illegal, illegal by you, by the commissioners. And that was done. And there are no bylaws. No one can give me bylaws. I have rules and regulations. Um, they're just very, very vague on everything. Okay. Um, administrator? Uh, Mr. We're, Jordan? Right, Mr. Chair. Regarding this issue, um, as you said, this is an issue for the Gold Hill Irrigation District. My understanding is they have voted to uh, discontinue water service as of August 18th. Um, that it had been recommended to them by ODF and W as well as the Water Master's Office to go to September 15th. But they have some work to construct, um, some changes to create head gates, uh, and also uh, screening for fish who are currently being trapped between where there is no head gate and um, screens that are a half mile down the canal in order to comply with federal law and many other requirements that come with managing an irrigation district. They didn't feel if they waited till September that they could complete the work within the within the in-water work period, um, <clears throat> which does run roughly till the middle of September. My understanding is that uh, the state had informed the district board that they would be willing to adjust that in-water work period uh, to try to work with the district to keep the water moving uh, prior to turning it off August 18th. Uh, I do want to clarify, this isn't a county issue. I'm just happy to be informed on the issue, so I'm sharing the information with the public. Essentially, um, you know, the county doesn't provide legal advice for something that's not a county uh, action. In this case, the remedy is to seek remedy with the district board, as you said. My understanding is the chair of the district board resigned after the decision was made to discontinue water service on August 18th. Um, and so I don't know if the board has plans to meet to appoint a new chair. <clears throat> um, the other, of course, uh, uh, option for recourse would be to seek an injunctive relief, which the county would not have anything to do with, but the court system would have something to do with. So that is an option for the property owners if they believe they have a case that they could uh, withstand the court's uh, order for an, an injunctive relief for the closure of the or discontinuance of the water. 
Um, with regard to you know, the creation of districts, uh, I'll, I'll say that the county charter does allow the board now to create a district. You can just create it. And if no one challenges, it exists. It can't be funded without a vote of the people. So creating districts in 1916 was something the board approved. Um, it does not give any judicial, quasi-judicial or legislative oversight over that district once it is approved and formed. So the fact that the county commissioners may have authorized the formation of the district is not relevant to the county's ability to take any action per se. Um, <clears throat> so I think that answers a lot of the questions, and I'm prepared okay. to answer more. If you uh, thank you, Danny. I appreciate that. I know that's probably that's not the answer you're going to hear, ma'am, but uh, really that's where we're at in this situation. I was just curious. I, I understood that there's a potential that your water is going to be shut down for five weeks during the uh, peak that's, summer time. That's the one thing that, is that um, I understand that someone has spoken to you about this and that you were going to pr hopefully um, fulfill some of the constituents' needs. Um, there's a contract. The contract has no date, no starting date, no ending date, no how many weeks it's going to take. It's just so vague that that's what we want to get. You know, we want to see the contract and. Um, Scott Patterson, who was the director, and I might ask, who was the who was the person that resigned? Was it after our meeting or sometime? I was told it was after the meeting. The board chair resigned. And that would be Scott Patterson. Uh, I don't remember the name. Man. Okay, um, we didn't. We there's just no communication whatsoever. I've talked to uh, the office of uh, Karen Brown and or Kate Brown, and just DEQ Watershed, Travis at Watershed, just a number of people trying to get the information. And now that we know that we were um, remiss in not being at the meetings, we thought the board was handling it, and they weren't um, in our on our behalf. And I, I've talked with a lot of people, and they just think that they've really overstepped their bounds in doing all of this without contacting us, us and letting us know that um, there was this big issue. So I don't know where that leads us. I, we just needed some more time to before they turn it up, because there there is no contract saying it's going to be. They're going to start the work on the 18th. Then we have people so hot about it that they're going to be there. And if they're not starting to work on the 18th, da 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 da, you know, they're all, all these threats. But if they can't, if they can't fulfill starting the work on the 18th, what's the point in shutting it off? Yeah. I, again, ma'am, I, I I'm, I'm afraid that we're really powerless in this situation. Uh, as as uh, the administrator said, we can't we can't offer legal advice. But uh, you do have that recourse to seek an injunction through the through the uh, the court system over here. So that's about the best that's I can say. That's what I would do is through okay. the courts. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Is there someone else who would like to speak uh, to the board this morning? <clears throat> 